Jacob Burton here from StellaCulinary.com, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a classic white chicken stock. Now, white chicken stocks are commonly used for uh, certain forms of velouté's, which is one of the five French mother sauces. But in general terms, you're going to use a white chicken stock for any time you're making a chicken-based broth, sauce, or soup uh, that you want a more subtle flavor to. You don't want that roasted flavor. Now, you're going to start by placing your bones at the bottom of a cold stock pot, covering those bones with water, and then placing the whole stock pot over a high flame. I like to throw a lid on top uh, just so it comes to a boil faster. Now, while you're waiting for that stock to come to a boil, uh, you're going to get your aromatics ready. Here I have a large bunch of thyme, a couple of bay leaves, and then our standard mirepoix, which is two parts onions to one part celery to one part carrots by weight, uh, but you can eyeball it and kind of adjust it based upon your personal uh, taste preferences. Speaking of taste preferences, a lot of chefs uh, like to remove the leaves of the celery because they find it makes their stock bitter. For me, it, it's not really a big deal for my personal palate. Uh, I don't mind the slight bitterness that uh, celery adds to my stock, uh, but that's a decision that you'll have to make for yourself. So you can uh, test with leaves and without leaves. Now, once your stock comes to a boil, you're going to pour it off, and this is going to get rid of the excess scum and fat, and this is what's going to give your stock a, a nice clarity to it as far as visual appeal goes, but also a very subtle flavor and a clean taste. You're going to place those bones back into the pot, cover with your fresh mirepoix that isn't roasted, and again, this mirepoix can be any sort of flavor profile that you like. You, you can add a uh, any sort of you know wine or spices, but normally because uh, a stock is a base flavor, uh, you're going to want to keep it as clean as possible and add those secondary flavors towards the end. I do like to add a little bit of white wine to my stock, and then I want to cover this whole thing uh, with cold water and then place it over a high flame just long enough to bring it up to a simmer. Now, once it comes to a simmer, which is honestly more of a rolling boil here because it kind of got away from me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reduce the flame to basically as low as it can go, and I'm going to move the pot halfway off the flame as shown here. And what that's going to do, it's going to create a convection cycle of heating where the uh, all the fat and particulate matter is going to boil up on one side. It's going to collect on the other side of the pot, uh, making the skimming process a lot easier. So at this point, I'm going to come and uh, skim uh, any excess fat, and uh, you, you'll notice that there's not a whole lot of fat and a whole lot of scum uh, floating to the surface because that got pulled off during the initial uh, blanching stage of boiling. And I'm going to simmer this whole thing for two hours, and just two hours. Now, after the two-hour simmering process, I'm going to give uh, the stock one final skim. And then if you watch any of our stock videos before, this is a pretty simple finish. It's how you finish all your stocks. Uh, we're going to pass it through a large conical strainer known as a china cap. Uh, then we're going to pass it again through a chinois to pull out any particulate matter. And if you're not going to use the stock immediately, uh, you want to chill it down in an ice bath and make sure it drops to uh, below 40 degrees Fahrenheit within four hours. For more information, check out stellaculinary.com slash SNS. 14.